How can you just be sleeping like that? Well, I thought I just should videotape this. <laughs> I'm glad that I learned how to take the furnace apart earlier on. A few months ago I published a video of me taking the furnace out. Anyway, we just got back from a trip up to Joshua Tree National Park and we picked up some mice. Um, I set the trap in the morning and didn't catch anything so I thought, oh, the mice must be gone. So we're at a friend's driveway camping overnight all of a sudden this terrible, terrible screeching noise came on and the furnace was going just ballistic. just sounded like a freight train in here. We jumped out of the bed and tried to turn the thing off. Finally got the thing turned off with the thermostat. So now I've taken it apart. And it looks like uh, one of Mickey's friends has met its demise. If you don't like rodents, look away. There he is. He crawled up into the furnace. I think I mentioned uh, having a fear of that before in the other video. There he is, jammed up into the squirrel cage fan. So that was making all the noise. Hope he didn't ruin the fan. And you can see um, that's the little vent that goes down into the basement or the underbelly area to warm our tanks. He crawled up into that got inside the furnace here. This usually has a uh, front cover. So I guess he was trying to make his way through and he was in the fan area at the, well, just as the furnace sparked on. Boom. Oh crap. Of course it's like 1.30 in the morning. Stupid. That's what you get for hit coming in our RV, you dummy. First thing I'm going to do is uh, spray all the inside of the fan area there with a bleach mixture. Get bleach in, try to get as much as that uh, crap out of there dead. I don't want to be breathing in most guts or fur. Nasty little animals. So I got myself a bleach mixture. Get out of there. And I'm going to take an air compressor and uh, blow it all out in there, try to get it as clean as I can before we put her back. Hopefully she'll still be working. I'll do a fan test first. Okay, mouse is out of there, so now I'm going to test uh, to see if the fan was damaged and is okay. So I've got it outside here and got the 12 volt power coming out. It is routed through the fridge here. So I got my power set up. I've got my thermostat wire shorted like the, the switch on the thermostat would be on and there's a little switch here to test so we're going to give her a shot. Oh that's a good sign, sounds good. Nice and smooth. Turn her off there. Hopefully the control board's okay and it'll turn off within uh, a 30 second time. 30 second or a minute I think it runs. So in my panic to get it uh, to stop uh, stop going, I was trying to, to pull the wire, the 12 volt wire off in there and I ended up pulling one of the thermostat wires right out. So I'm going to run some new wires, you can see four wires come in here. I'm going to lengthen the wires so that I can easily get the, the furnace out of there if I have to. Maybe put a plug on as well. Should turn off by itself pretty soon. There we go. Good. That means the control board should be working too. Hopefully. I guess we'll see. Reinstall time. So I had decided to add a little uh, screen to that uh, venting that comes up from below. Just to stop that from happening in the future, hopefully. And then I've got some of this aluminum tape I'm going to seal around all the cracks and fill the cracks with steel wool and uh, foam. It's about time I go through the rig and do that. I'm also going to add 
a plug here so I can quickly unplug the furnace. Also will make it easier for taking the furnace out. They didn't have very uh, much uh, wire length there if you saw my furnace removal not too long ago. So someone in the comments suggested using a uh, trailer wiring plug was a good idea. So I'm just going to solder that in. Okay, there we go. Sounds good. Looks like we're back in business. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, everyone. What are you hiding back there? Huh? Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go.